up, everyone? Mark Lobliner, CEO, MTS Nutrition, Chief Marketing Officer, TigerFitness.com, creator of the Outright Bar and partner in the Ambrosia Collective and 015 Nutrition. Katie, Katie, Katie. So we were at our daughter's soccer game, which they ended up tying their crosstown rivals zero to zero. Good news is they beat them in the state final and they lost zero to two last year. That means we're on a great trajectory for a state championship. However, something went down that I was very disappointed in the ability of the school and the coaches to emphasize hydration for these children. Now, they might not have crossed their minds because oh, it's hot out, right? It's hot out, let's drink some water. It's not their fault. Who thinks about it? Like we assume that these kids get enough electrolytes in their diet, and here's why. Most people get most of their electrolytes, their sodium, their potassium, their magnesium, and I'm gonna talk about those in a minute, from packaged foods, right? Packaged foods. Now realize, we live in Brentwood, Tennessee, a very affluent area. Am I? It's an affluent area. Ravenwood High School is very affluent, which means that the parents here are probably going to be much more health conscious. The kind of parents that shop at Whole Foods and give their kids whole foods and give them less packaged foods. Mm -hmm. So what happens is these kids, well, I'm gonna just drink some water. I wanna be hydrated. So they drink their water. Mm. Hydrate. Well, sort of. So when you're looking at hydration, Katie, you're not looking at water. In fact, if you drink more water and lack the essential electrolytes, and I'll tell you what electrolytes most people are deficient in, what happens is you can get something called hyponatremia. Hyponatremia is essentially too much water, not enough electrolytes. Okay. And that can cause big issues, huge issues. So your body needs a balance of electrolytes and water. So the more water you drink, the more electrolytes you need. So sometimes these girls, when they're thirsty, they'll drink more water. But if they're eating a clean diet, meaning non-packaged foods and whole foods, then they're getting less sodium and they're taking in more liquid, compounding the problem. Well, let's discuss, like you mentioned, Cammy Sting. What happened was there was two girls on the field that had severe cramping. So severe. we thought that they were like severely injured, but when the trainer came out, she just was stretching them. So it presents itself in cramping. So they're exerting themselves and they're running a ton and it starts to cool down when the sun goes down and they start cramping up. So what happens is that as you sweat, you're taking in water, your body perspires electrolytes as well as water. So as you're losing these electrolytes and you're not replenishing them, it causes an even bigger imbalance. Now there are a lot of electrolytes in the body, but the ones we're gonna look at that people are mainly deficient in. Remember, I have no notes, this is pretty awesome, are sodium, potassium, and magnesium. Now, those are the ones we're gonna look at right now. Sodium is potentially the most important. Now, a lot of people will get sodium as the devil. I think the FDA recommends around 2.3 grams per day. However, here's the issue. That's for a normal sedentary person who's probably not perspiring much except for the fact that they're fat and they sweat. Someone who's not focusing on drinking water and hydrating. Not an elite state champion level female soccer player. So you have 2.3 grams that they're recommending. And these are people who probably don't eat whole foods. They probably eat processed garbage. Again, where a majority of people's electrolytes come from. So sodium is very important, not only for performance, for muscle contraction, and so your heart doesn't stop. Now, alongside sodium, there's potassium. Think of them as yin and yang. Potassium and sodium work together. And then you have magnesium, which is responsible for not only sleep, but many functions in the body, including muscle relaxation, muscle contraction, and all that good stuff. So what happens is people drink a lot of water, but if you're eating clean and healthy, that might be the worst thing. In fact, when I first started bodybuilding, you might not remember this, Katie, in my early 20s, 
I couldn't get a pump or anything and I found out that it's because I was eating too clean and I wasn't salting my food. Now, there are ways around this. So, looking at what we have, one option if you're hydrating and you're eating clean foods, which I'm not gonna recommend you go out and buy processed garbage, mm -hmm. is you salt your food. You know, I like putting a few twists of Himalayan pink salt or sea salt. Well, what about sodium chloride, table salt? It's fine, but I prefer the natural salts because they do have other trace minerals that are good for your body. Mm -hmm. I like it and I believe they taste better. Sodium chloride, it's okay. It's just, once you go pink Himalayan or sea salt, you never go back. Another option, of course, is to add in things like pickles, to add in things that have potassium. Now, leafy greens have a lot of potassium in them and things like that. However, you have to eat a metric buttload of these um, greens to get what you need. Mm -hmm. So the other thing we have, and this is a supplement option, there are replacement drinks like Gatorade Zero, Powerade Zero, things like that. However, they don't always have enough electrolytes and there's other things in there that you might not want especially if you're an affluent soccer player in Brentwood, Tennessee, you want to give your kids the best. So that's why I came out and there's a pitch. Hell yes, I own a company and I sell stuff and the stuff I make is the best. So I'm going to go on, okay? So Naturalite, the peach mango flavor is my favorite. We also have a lemonade. So Naturalite is pretty awesome because in one scoop, there's calcium, which is also an electrolyte that gets depleted pretty rapidly in the body. 130 milligrams, this is per one scoop, right? There's 60 scoops per container. Magnesium, 42 milligrams. Sodium, okay, now this comes exclusively from sea salt, 110 milligrams, and then potassium at 470 milligrams. So we also add in coconut water powder, which has its own tremendous health benefits. The other thing I was gonna add that um, the magnesium in here is magnesium glycinate, right? Yes. Um, that is part of Cami's migraine, anti-migraine protocol. So a lot of times, uh, Athletes are deficient in magnesium and low magnesium can cause or be one of the causes of migraine. So she supplements with magnesium glycinate. Mm -hmm. And the cool thing is now a lot of these parents are all natural. You know, they don't like giving their kids crap. I mean, they, they want their kids to be the best. So there's no artificial colors and there's no artificial sweeteners. So sweeten with stevia as well as monk fruit. So there's no artificial sweeteners, but if you aren't interested in the old natty awesome approach, all I'm asking is here's the free option, not free, but the really cheap option. Number one, salt your food. Use Himalayan pink salt, use sea salt, but be sure to look into magnesium, potassium, and sources of that in your diet. Potassium, bananas. Potassium, bananas, sweet potatoes, I believe per eight ounces have 600 milligrams of potassium. I could be off on that. Sweet potatoes are great leafy greens, things like that. Magnesium, again, you get that in your diet, but I want you guys to look at how to not cramp. And watching this game, first thing I'm like, after the game, the coach, you know, we have a group text. She's like, we need to figure something out about this cramping. I said, well, I can send a case of natural light, right? Let me ask you this. Is it important for them to, like the athlete, student athletes, whoever, should they be having the electrolytes like the day before, the day of, during the game? Like when is the best time? That's a very good question. Now, I like to keep the body fulfilled with electrolytes because it not only helps with recovery, it's also essential to live. And if these girls are hydrating throughout the day, they're gonna be constantly diluting their stores of electrolytes. Mm -hmm. However, one way to look at it if you're supplementing, what I would do is Let's say two hours before the game, you have your, your, your little cup of water, you put a couple scoops of natural light in it. During the game, you either use this or you go with like something like we have intra advantage. They might, that might be a little too complex, but something like Gatorade if they need carbs or maybe natural light with an, an extra carb source that they like to eat. Or how about this? Eat a banana before the game yeah. and salt the meal before that banana. So let's say you go to, um, you, you have your, your chicken sandwich put a couple of twists of salt on it, right? But also if you're running, like keep in mind, Cami plays center, mid. she plays the eight or the six or one of those. She plays a lot of things, six or eight, six? I don't know, center mid. She plays center mid. 
Center mid runs and anywhere between six and eight miles a game if she plays the whole game. She paid 95%. So she ran about six to seven miles. She didn't cramp because again, I'm her dad and I have her laced up with electrolytes, okay? Now, you have someone like um, our, our, our right back who actually pushes up and scores a lot. You know, I'm not gonna mention her name, I don't know if she wants to mention, but she's amazing. So this girl's making runs of 100 yards throughout the game. So she's probably running as much as Cammy, if not more. And the fact that she's cramping doesn't, and she's in shape. This is an elite athlete, an elite division one athlete, right? Future division one athlete. You know, what's happening is she's just not getting enough electrolytes. So cramping is not a sign of being out of shape. Not for these girls. Now, obviously, if you're, if you're, if you're like a fat guy who starts playing basketball after a year on the couch, yeah, you're, you're going to get stitches and cramps because you're out of shape. Your muscle just doesn't know what to do. But these are girls who play club soccer year round and they are in shape. Another question. Yes. Is there any, like, does warming up help prevent it or no? If you're deficient in electrolytes, you're still going to cramp. Like, because they do warm up. Well, warming up will exacerbate the cramping. Oh, okay. So what cramping comes from, obviously, it's from a deficiency mm -hmm. and your body not able to fire. And it could be, again, the hyponatremia, a mild presentation of it. Not, I mean, look, if you drink too much water and not enough electrolytes, you die. Yeah. You die. You absolutely die. But there's different levels of overwatering, so to speak. So what I want to do is educate the kids, right? And that's why we're not cursing in this video. I haven't said one curse word because I want this to go out to kids. Okay, at the end of the day, I love kids. Okay, at the end of the day, it's my passion. I am, a, I am the head strength coach for Ravenwood's wrestling team, and I want these kids to be great. You know, just give you a backup history of me, I was actually going to run for state house. I was going to run for government to make a difference. And then Katie's like, you can't even handle trolls in bodybuilding. What are you going to do in politics? I'm like, I'm going to leave that to my boy, Robbie Starbuck, who's running for Congress, right? <laughs> what I'm going to do, and then just happened to be the next week, I was approached by Dr. Mason. At, um, at, at Ravenwood about helping out. And the next week, Coach Failer, Brody, contacted me about being the strength coach for the wrestling team. My goal is to help kids be great. And these kids, like the reason I'm here right now is because of, I get goosebumps every time I talk about it, is because of sports. So how I'm giving back to the community is by building these kids up to be great. Because if you're great in sports, you, look, sports, you ever wonder how Tom Brady can go four quarters without scoring one touchdown, come back and win 24 to 23 in the fourth quarter, the last two minutes, is because the, the human mind, the human body, it's based on momentum. And if you have momentum in one thing, you have momentum in the other. I'll tell you this, when I'm crushing, like I crushed it, I came back to bodybuilding and in six weeks, not only did I crush it at bodybuilding, but I was the best husband I've ever been. I was the best, am I right? Am I right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I was the best father I've ever been. I was the best CEO I've ever been. Because the human mind, once you start succeeding, success is contagious within yourself. So what happens is the contagion, if you are successful in business, it will carry over and is contagious to your success in your personal life. If you're successful in your personal life, it'll carry over and be successful in your gym performance. Because it's all mindset. Yesterday, yesterday I came home, I got over some like flu thing, my body was sore, and I had a great meeting that morning. A great business meeting. So great that it was great. Okay, <laughs> tell me how the rest of my day, it was an amazing day. I had a breakthrough with Thomas, we went through, we went to Starbucks, we had fun together, like I was hugging the kids because I was on an upper roll. But if you ever get knocked down, like let's say you read a nasty comment online. Let's say someone says that you have rusty fenders on your bicycle or something, calls you a Jew boy. Like at the end of the day, man, that was a pumping iron reference for those who don't know. At the end of the day, that's going to affect you. So what I want to do is provide this positivity for children. And that's why we're here. So you don't have to buy this, but it's the best. What I want to do is make sure that you parents out there, and I know a lot of you kids, including everybody in my son's junior high, watches my stuff. <laughs> so I want you guys to make sure, number one, don't eat processed garbage, okay? 
But being that you're not eating processed garbage and you're making all the right gains, making all the right health choices, you also have to make sure you pay attention to not only drinking enough liquid, but to getting in your electrolytes. Magnesium, sodium, potassium. How much? I'm not gonna ask you to measure out your salt shaker. Yeah. Put like four twists to taste, just get it in there. And then while you're training, either have Gatorade Zero, Powerade Zero, I'm not gonna ask you to get the, you know, the stuff with all the crap in it, or a couple scoops of natural light. That doesn't have coloring in it either, right? Um, it's natural. It's natural coloring, mm -hmm. that's what I'm Everything's natty, it's natural flavor, natural everything. Yeah, this is perfect. So anyway, that's all I got. Katie, you wanna add something to it? No, I mean, the video idea was my idea because I thought it could be helpful after seeing what happened last week at Cammy's game. And also, I don't say it enough, okay? And I'm gonna say it, and I don't care if anybody doesn't wanna hear it, but I have the greatest wrestling team in the world. <laughs> this, these kids, they came in here, right? They came in, most of them never lifted before, and they couldn't even do the bar, the hex bar, alone on a deadlift. These same kids are deadlifting 300 plus pounds mm -hmm. in less than three months. And um, I'd like to say that I have a couple guys winning state, and I also like to give a shout out to my uh, my team leaders, you know, and I'm gonna call them, they're the ones who just kind of run things, man. It's Will and Drew. Those kids are bad A. See, I'm not cursing. <laughs> anyway, guys, I want you to comment down below. I want you to share this with every sports team you know. I want you to share this with your little league team. I want you to share this with the parents because this will help people. Also, if you have any more specific questions related to youth athletes for Mark. I think it's great video topics that you can. I would out. love you to not, don't comment down below, it gets lost, yeah. but DM me on Instagram. Yeah. So we're on YouTube right now and Instagram. I'm gonna put this video up right now. Yeah. Okay. I, it, I have like three weeks of videos in the queue, but I'm gonna put this up yeah. right now. DM me, my, my Instagram is Mark Lobliner, M-A-R-C-L-O-B-L-I-N-E-R. It's got the blue check and I look forward to it. I love all you guys and Katie, anything? Yeah, I think, you know, this is a good, like, um, when you can separate the videos on YouTube, what's called playlist, youth, youth nutrition and supplementation. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to link down below the performance nutrition lecture I did at the Uber Zotti Speed Conference yeah. earlier this year. Guys, I love you. God bless. And parents out there, I know you want what's best for your kids. And if you have any questions, I sincerely mean this from the bottom of my heart. You know, I'm putting this video, this is my third video of the day I'm putting up, and I, I have to. Got another topic, mm -hmm. CTE protocol for kids after what we saw yesterday. That's oh, a whole man. other video. You're asking, uh, it was the first, <laughs> look, I'm going to, it was the first time I, I literally almost he ran on the field yeah. and stone cold stunned a coach. This kid went down and he came back and they put him back in the game holding his head. He was, and then he was, he was inebriated. He wasn't all there. He react. He's and so, He's so our, our really, really good forward who will run over anybody to get a goal. Um, he wasn't able to react, and then he hurt his ankle he really hurt, bad. Yeah, he's going to react. And so anyway, that's another story. Another video topic. Let's all just right. do it right now. Okay. Anyway, guys, <laughs> God bless. Be sure to follow me on Instagram, on all that stuff, Twitter. Subscribe to this channel. Um, like this video. And, of course, click on the notification bell. Love everybody here. That's not a game. When I was a kid, I once put peanut butter and marshmallow on a sandwich. Little did I know those are called fluffernutters. A fluffernutter sandwich is... Peanut butter marshmallow. It is so good. So I thought to myself, Mark, how do we get the taste of a fluffernutter sandwich, high in protein, low in carbs and fat, that you could drink or make into a delicious pudding like I call it sludge, without the diabetes? Well, now we got the peanut butter fluff, MTS way. It's in stock and it is so good. Peanut butter, marshmallow, you drink it, you eat it as a sludge. You feel this, ah, this childhood exuberance of deliciousness coming through your mouth. Anyway, peanut butter fluff available now at tigerfitness.com. You will not regret it. This is one of the best tasting ways I have ever created.